Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story co-curator, disagrees that Joe was sympathetic to the serial killer. Netflix depicted the life of Jeffrey Dahmer and his murders in a 10-part series. The co-creator of Netflix Monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story, disagreed that the show was sympathetic to the man labeled to the Milwaukee Cannibal. Now, the Netflix limited thriller series this depicted the life of serial killer Jeff Dahmer, who was known for committing murder and other heinous acts, including necrophilia and cannibalism between 1988 in 1991, I think we show a human being, co-creator Ian Brennan explaining to page 6 during the premiere of his new Netflix series, The Watcher. He is he's monstrously human and he is monstrously monstrous and that's what we wanted to sort of unpack. We tried to show an object portrayed as possible. He noted, we did a homework. The Netflix series, created by Bren and Ryan Murphy, stars Evan Peters' monster, The Drafty Dumb Story, became Netflix's second most popular show shortly after its release September 21st. Brenner explained that he is not sure why the show has blown up the way it has. I've been asking myself that same question, he told the outlet. It's interesting when or or hip horrific stories like that resonate with people. I think it's a way for people to approach scary things about themselves. Watch it being portrayed on the screen. Dahmer's murders have made headlines again after Netflix released the series. The series itself received backlash as there is renewed interest in the murders committed by Dahmer. I'm not telling anyone what to watch. I know the true crime media is huge, but if you are actually curious about the victims, my family, the Isbells, are pissed about this show. Eric Perry, the cousin of Tamar's victim, Arrow, Lindsay, posts on Twitter. It's re trauma chasing over and over again, and for what? How many movies, shows, documentaries do we need? The mother of Anthony Hughes, another big Dahmer's victim, recently claimed the way her son's death was portrayed and the aftermath that followed in the show didn't happen. I don't see how they can do that, Shirley Hughes told The Guardian. I don't see how they can use their names and put stuff out like that out there. Dahmer confessed to 70 murders of men and boys in Milwaukee between 1978 and 1991, the murders included dismemberment, cannibalism, and necrophilia.